Got sexual and factual, but still I choose you to be with me out as long as I'm so when I say it out. You know what the fuck singers be saying sometimes. And sometimes they don't want you to say it. They want you to put your own shit on it. They don't know it. Whatever they do, whatever. You better not break it up. I got so much love in me. So much love, so much love. Baby, baby, baby. If you're gonna hit me up, you got to love me deep. I can have any man I want to. Time and place that I choose to. But I'd rather be here with you. Yeah. Now that's actual and factual. <sighs> boy, oh boy, this twin flame journey, honey. This is why I ain't been able to do no readings because. When you have sex with these damn divine masculines, you get sick as a fucking dog because of whoever they fucking with. Don't let them fool you. Don't even try to let them school you. For real. This gonna be a water sign reading. You gotta be real motherfucking careful because they real, whoever they deal with, these motherfuckers, let me tell you something. The 20 year olds and the 30 year olds are, I guess, kind of like infatuated with Generation X, 40-year-olds, mid-40s, and uh, 50s. So if you a woman in your 40s and 50s with a twin flame or even a soulmate, they coming at your ass, the younger girls, the 20-year-olds, and all they got is that you old. That's all they can say. You know, if they can cook, they really only, they about to, they want to try to kill you kind of shit in one way or another. And what makes it sad is Generation X, the men in their the men in their forties and fifties, they 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 like the attention, so it don't make it no easier. But they know that ain't reality, you know. Next thing you know, when they need the real deal, come sit on Mama lap can and shit. Then you feeling sick as fuck. I ain't. I feel like I just. I'm still sick today. Couldn't eat all day yesterday. Just been able to eat real light. But nausea, ridiculous. So they out here getting hoes pregnant. Just a whole bunch of bullshit. You is the twin flame. It's not It's not a matter of you not wanting to feel it. You wanting to leave this person. You ready to move on with your life. Get with somebody else. I understand that. Because I'm the same fucking way. The same way. But for some reason, this shit just hit different. I don't know if it hit different in days of old. But I do know what the fuck is doing now. And then you got those 20 year olds that's just deal with their age group as I feel like they should. I don't feel like it's the time for younger people to date older people. And that's just not because I'm not in union and my divine masculine is a whoremonger. No, it's just the way it is. When I was in when I was growing up, it was nothing for a younger girl to be with an older dude. That shit made sense like a motherfucker. It wasn't nobody seeing shit. Now, for it to go that way, with the twenty year olds going for older men, they not ready for them men. They looking for their father real bad. Real bad. And they father know the niggas cause they in the same generation and they be goddamn kind of shit. Cause you already know what the niggas is about. They was them niggas. The 30 year olds really at your head. If you in your 40s, the 20 and 30 year olds is at the for me and 40 year olds that still look young and vibrant, still got shape and ass and everything straight. And you know how to work your program and life done taught you some wisdoms where you you may be 40 something years old, but you your wisdom reaches 80 year old level because of how much you done endured and been through in life. They don't like that, they want that wisdom. They want to keep that youth, but they want your wisdom. But they get to walk through some shit, they don't want to do that. They just want your wisdom to keep your man. They can find cooking shit everywhere on YouTube and stuff like that. 
if they weren't paying too much attention to granny or mama. I mean, YouTube will teach them how to cook. That ain't shit. How they see it. They can suck a mean dick because they sat with the popsicle all day. So, that's just what y'all dealing with. I'm telling you, with these twin flames. It's ridiculous. You don't want to have sex with them. You don't want to do nothing with them. But they will keep on. And the next thing you know, and I told Allah, I said, Allah, it is so unfair that they can do that. They can subdue us just by nature. By them being man and you being a woman, they can subdue you. That's some weak shit, man. It really is because the woman is sitting up getting sick while he's somewhere fucking and getting sucked on. Excuse me? But see? That's that shit. So if a motherfucker, if I ever make union, a motherfucker, they probably have me recorded cussing my twin flame out because I'm going to cuss him out till we die. I'm going to cuss him out till we, it's time to go to the underworld. I am. I'm going to call them bitches. I'm going to tell them, bitch, get my food. Bitch, get my bag, bitch. Until I feel like I don't need to do that no more. Because that's what he doing to me. He just not saying that shit. You can't pretend lovey-dovey. No. Unconditional love don't work like that. If it's unconditional, it's unconditional. You doing all this shit to me. I don't hate you with the hate of an enemy I have. But love ain't shit but hate in reverse. And hate ain't shit but love in reverse. So it's nowhere for me to go. I'm not about to fake it like I like this shit. And stay all soft and oh, I love him. And I'm like, no, nah, bitch. What the fuck you want? I don't give a fuck who think what about what. I don't care what his family say. I don't care what the bitch say. I don't care what nobody say. I'm going to talk how I talk. Because you've been treating me like this. So I'm going to show you how it feels. Ain't got that many years left on the earth. And I'm going to do it till I'm tired. And if he want to walk, honey, walk on by. This what the fuck you been doing. The fuck? You can give it, but you can't take it? Out here lying in the streets. On yard. All the shit the twin flames do. They ain't, they ain't calling, they ain't beckoning you to do nothing. You making it all up. All that whole shit they do. And some of them ain't even conscious enough to know that's what they doing. And they'll say you lying because they don't even realize what they're doing. Like, I'm not lying about shit, bitch. If I'm up and I'm not thinking about you, come on, y'all. Twin Flames be, the women, we be done with that shit. Trying to see if we can date somebody else. You know, move on with our life. Everybody ain't stuck like Chuck on a man. Come on. Work with me, people. Kind of shit. Pisces, work with me. Scorpio, work with me. Come on, Cancer, work with me. Everybody's just not sitting around stuck on super paws on them. That's why a lot of times... Uh, when a twin flame do reunite, the woman got a baby already. He gonna do that anyway, cause he ain't shit. He trying to run away from what he know he shouldn't be running away from. You done with it as a woman, cause you don't got time for that. You really don't. Especially when you gotta hold it down. And he's playing for 10 out in the streets. Okay, keep, keep that same energy, and I'm about to do me... And I don't care about you seeing me on social media. I don't care. I'm not posting for you anymore. I'm not. When I do a selfie, it's for me. You know what I'm saying? Or I'm just doing it to do it. You know what I mean? Ain't, I don't hear for that no more. That yeah, them days gone. Ain't none of the memes gonna be about you. Okay? I'm over that shit. Come on, y'all. So, what the fuck is this? They be energy harvesting. Because they can't get none from the bitches that they be with. And then the bitches that they be with be trying to doppelganger you. This shit going on in the 20-year-old shit too. They need to work through their differences. 20s and 30s. 20s need to work out their differences with 20s. And 30s need to work out their differences with 30s. A lot of the 80s babies like older women. To me, they ain't nothing wrong with that. That makes sense to me. But when you get off into the 90s, 2000, up in there, what you coming back down this way for? You need to figure out what the fuck y'all doing up that way. For real. Because you come from mothers and fathers that understand. 
They ain't my mother and father's 30s and 40s. Can I get a witness? Whoever they fucking with eat a lot of fast food all day long. May have started off cooking, but that was just to get them in the dough. A lot of fast food, a lot of gossiping, just a lot of low vibe shit. That when you link up with them, and then some masculines can't get past the 5D. They ain't did no work. They think they're going to get in on your VIP card kind of shit. So you got to lower your, lower your vibe. Go to this old swanky ass 5D. I'm going to find that name of that club that it reminds me of. I swear to God I am. It's a club they used to have back in the 50s, I think. And everybody used to go, and they said it was off the hook. And I can't remember where it was at. It was either in New York or Cali. It was somewhere. Club Studio 57, some shit like that. Somebody know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm about to find that motherfucker. I'm going to put it right in the community board. So y'all be looking for that motherfucker, because that's what 5D is for real. It may look all like this and like that, but baby, motherfuckers dealing with some shit. Next thing you know, you down three days. I have stuff to do. But they don't care about that. And you lying. You lying. They ain't coming nowhere near you. This is what they'll tell old girl. You making this all up. You lying. They'll tell their family the same shit. You know? A lot of this shit started. A lot of separation started because family got in Twin Flames business. And it was religious based. It was based on the religion. They don't think like me. They don't do that. And then the divine masculines just listened to their family and met somebody that they thought was a little bit awesome. Pick up a child, pick up a girl, bring her and say, y'all like her? Kind of shit. Not what they like, no. What their family advised them that they should choose. For real. Let me tell y'all how deep this shit is. I was um on on Facebook. Yesterday, looking at my divine mask and an ugly ass haircut. And I don't go on his page often. I don't even be on Facebook for real. But something guided me to Facebook. And I knew it wasn't him. He just want me to always be thinking about him. But I'm not. Nobody got time for that. To be sitting up just thinking. About what? Like, you know what I mean? Like, what you talking about? <laughs> it's stupid as fuck. Anyway. <laughs> I went to scrolling, of course. And I come across this lady. And she crying. And she looks serious. I can tell when a motherfucker ain't no joke. Ain't crying for the camera. Doing it for the vine. So I'm like, hello. So I go in her thing. And she's talking. And she got a gauze on her face. And she's saying that her husband shot her in the face. They wasn't arguing or nothing. That her husband shot her in the face. So y'all know my spidey sister. Sis is going crazy. Hold on, y'all. I got to turn it up. But her spite, my spidey senses was going crazy. So she was talking about, um, it gets so bad, y'all. I really have to be careful because when I be laying down, if I'm on there and I see something and see the thing with ancestors, if you a channeler, if you scrolling on somebody's shit and somebody dead and ain't nobody hollering at them, they going to holler at you. Floyd did that to me. The, the Floyd, they, they made a big George Floyd. He did it to me. They all do it. If you look, they own you. Trayvon did it to me. He don't come back. Sometimes they don't come back. Mm -mm. They just want you to stay with that that one thing, and they're gone. They may do that to a whole bunch of people to keep their name alive. Oh, you looking at me? Okay. You know, if you're a channeler. And some people channelers don't even know they fucking channelers. But anyway. Her husband gets to talking to me. And I'm like, you dead? So I further listened to what she was saying. 
Uh, man, y'all, Spidey sense is going berserk. So she say she going to the bank and she talking to the people and they like, what happened to your face? And she was like, my husband shot me. And but when she got back in the car, she started crying. She said, I can't believe I said stupid shit like that. <laughs> she was channeling him. You could tell they was twin flames. No doubt about it. When she said it, I said, he didn't do that on purpose. I can tell immediately. Somebody got some witchcraft on y'all and made him do that. Y'all don't think it's real? You's a motherfucking lie. People start dying. Her friend's son died. She was supposed to go to the funeral because her friend couldn't hold up for her son dying. Then her husband shot her. I don't know if he shot himself or if the police killed him, but did, she did show a picture with him, her hugging him in a casket. Motherfucker may have had something to say about that, but she can't go against the grain of her twin flame. This is my whole point of telling y'all this too. It's like trying to pull at your, pull yourself out of yourself. That's a constant tug of war. You don't want to be bothered with that when you're not in union. You just want to ignore that this person even exists because it's like twins living in two different places in the world. I can't get to you. You're not coming to me. So why are you beckoning me? Just let's just ignore each other. You go your way. And I'm going to try to stay with this riff right here. Because it's the only same thing that seems to work around this bitch. Where people can keep their sanity and keep going. Keep pushing. Keep striving. Keep doing whatever it is that you got to do to stay the fuck alive. Don't think that they didn't make that man kill her. Almost kill. They wanted her dead. She called it, but she didn't die. It's people in the hospital. She, she, oh, she's sharper than a motherfucking tag. They killed her granny. Her granny was supposed to live way longer, like to like 115 or some shit. Had go in her. I know why this just from scrolling her page a little bit, not digging, digging. No, I don't dig. Her husband jumps in and out of her son's body. He jumped in and out of her. I don't know about her daughters because I don't dig. She said it was the way the lady looked at her in the bank. The lady got something to do with it at the bank. This is Alabama. She's surrounded around witches. Was so wicked, anybody, she, she used to um, do drugs. Her and her husband, probably, more than likely, when you twins, you do everything together. Drugs, drink, everything. Come through all kinds of different festivals a lot. before she got shot I said oh beauty spells they didn't like her because they was beautiful you looked at her you could tell her husband was fine as fuck just a beautiful ass couple that people attacked she only had one motherfucking sibling she only had three children by the same man but that's an all money in situation oh they real envious she sat there and said it I said they, everything she built, they tear down. She said, I, I built it. She said, I put up a, um, she said she had a clothing store, a boutique or something like that. They shut that down. She did that. She put it back up. They shut something else down. Something else get shut out. She's equating it to her though. She's equating it to a fictitious devil. When it's really the people that she's lived around. Go to church with family and these fake ass friends. It's not nobody in the hood that's poor and fucked up. Nine times out of ten, they put spells on them to make them fucked up. Because they once was a twin. Flame kind of shit. Oh, it's dirty, man. It's real dirty. People just don't understand how blessed they are to still be in a twin flame union. And both people are alive and healthy and well. For real. People going to really have to self-reflect and see how selfish they are once they understand what the twin flame journey is really about. It's really about two people working out their own soul salvation simultaneously and however it looked to the outside world in a in a perfect twin flame journey it would be like him and her the man that shot the husband that shot her his wife it would be like them do the fire do whatever come one may 
That's what unconditional love is. It really is. However, it's so bad that either they're going to kill you separate or they'll kill somebody together or they'll kill they'll kill both. What they wanted for them two was them both to die because they had insurance money on them. Oh, yeah, they do that. They, they People can do that. Somebody told me that. I told um, the kidnapper that I was going to get some life insurance on him because he was just like, bro, your lifestyle is crazy. But he couldn't pass. He couldn't pass the toxicology test because he was just too toxic. So somebody was like, I mean, you want me to get it? Like they could get it done without him. I was like, no. I don't want to do that. I would want him to know. That's like tampering with his free will. I'm not doing no shit like that. You know? I don't want to do that. But you know how many people do that? It be insurance agents that know how to, you know, work it, work it, JT, work it. They get an insurance policy there. Some people is writing exact. If it's a mother, you know what I'm saying? They know this son is out here there to look. I need you to work this. But other people take advantage of it and the mother won't even know they got it on her motherfucking son. They will put you on the dope, tell the insurance people that they don't, they related to you. And they could be, but you, it ain't like that. And they don't know when you're going to come up dead, but they ain't got time to be paying for no free on the red. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's been trending. Been trending. That's why they hate me. I don't give a fuck, bitch. Where my mama at? Where my son at, bitch? You know? Start there and then let me know, bitch. Literally had her husband. And, oh, yeah, they wanted her dead. When she got in the hospital, they was trying to make her go through, trying to make her like she was paraplegic. She a gangster, Leo. She said, why are you trying to do that? She said, my husband shot me in my face. But my arms work. My legs work, and I can stand on my own two feet. So I'm going to need you to take this bad pan that I keep having to pee in and get it up out of here so I can just go to the bathroom and pee, basically. Oh, it be a all. Oh, and the bitch at the bank, too. She said it was the way she looked at me. But then she just cut it off. Like she just cut her intuition off. Then the bitch, it was a white bitch. The white bitch come to the door. Why she doing the live? This is how she went viral on Facebook, telling about her husband shooting her in the face. Alabama, stand up. Right in the summer, it's still cold in the middle. You don't let it cook right. But um, the white bitch paranoid, and her husband drove the white bitch out so she could be seen on live. She came to the door. Hi, I was just wondering if you're okay. You nervous? You nervous? So everybody in bed together, whites, blacks, with this shit, you can't trust no motherfucking body. You really can't. Unless they show you consistency of there being a child of Almighty God Allah, and then she's definitely one. I mean, it's written on she she the way she talk, everything about her is God consciousness. I don't give a fuck if she from the South and Christian is all get out. God is in that lady. For her to be able to survive that even, God is in that lady, but beyond that, I know when God is in somebody. And I know when he ain't. They made, they got rid of her husband <laughs> and wanted to get rid of her. And they pulled life insurance off of him. I asked him and her mother, the grandmother, the grandmother, the grandmother, <laughs> the grandmother came out before the, the husband. I'm talking about flu off of here. Flu, like she, I said, oh, you spicy. You had a whole bunch of life left in you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She said, my boy ain't did that. 
They, you know, they made it, but they be knowing. When they up in age like that, they be worrying about all that shit they be doing. They just don't say nothing. They don't want to get involved. And they don't want their children that they know that they put God in, a fear of God, if nothing else, to have nothing to do with that. They want you to be green about it. That's how my mother was. You got people from the South, they want you to be totally green about it. And then you just come into the knowledge of it, you know, on your own. But it's, it's about you having to do the work. I said, oh, she need to get up out of there. Need to move as fast as her feet. Her and her children get the fuck out of there. It's a cesspool. And they hate her because of her beauty. I ain't lying. If y'all seen her, her name is, um, something butterfly. Something butterfly. I can't even remember the name of the full name of the, the, her page. But if I remember, I'll put it on there so y'all can see her story. Something butterfly. Uh-huh. Deep, bruh. Look at her. I mean, happy as get out. Oh, then I said, oh, let me. I said, I said, oh, I know. I said, I know this is her twin flame. But maybe I can see them together so I can really solidify that I know that he wouldn't do that to his baby. Man, shit. I've scrolled a little bit him and her I'm talking in love like it don't die Whitney and Bobby shit don't die love do not die Because that's how twin flames be. You might as well say you feel like you with a dead person when you're not in union. You know they just not with you. So, you, you still feel that shit. A karmic can feel however she wants to. A family member can feel however they want to. If you ain't, if it ain't to two people, then please shut the fuck up. You're not in this. You could try to give me a headache. You could get mad. You can do all whatever you want to do. It does not matter to me. Because you can't help who your twin flame is. You cannot help what lifestyle they chose prior to coming into union with you. You cannot help none of that shit. That's an individual. All twins are individual. Whether they twins or not, they still individual souls. If one twin die, yeah, they may feel it. But that don't mean necessarily that they're going to die if they ain't the one that got shot. Okay? It's just facts. And sometimes, when they got shot, is the one... I said, her husband... Her husband was so... She said they wasn't arguing or nothing. He just shot her. I ain't lying. He couldn't live with herself. Her, he couldn't live with himself. Y'all gotta watch when she... When I tell y'all the name of this, it's called Butterfly. Something Butterfly. They don't want me to tell y'all. But I'm going to remember, by the grace and mercy of Almighty God, Allah. And just look at how she's talking. It's her husband talking through her. I don't even know why they told her no stupid shit like that. He was saying to her, you didn't have to tell the bitch shit. You could have told the bitch you was in a car accident. And then let her get in the group chat with the rest of the witches so they can cross each other up and say you crazy. And you telling lies. You see what I'm saying? He didn't want her to say that. He don't want her to tell people around there. He didn't want her to say that. Not to that bitch in there. Because she a part of it. White bitch. Looking guilty as I get out. Any, any um, FBI, CIA agent that knows how to read body language and can tell off rip when a motherfucking guilty. Rip, rip. Oh, they'd be like, oh, she, what the fuck is she, the head honcho? I asked about her, came up the magician card. Could be the head of it, because she white. And sometimes white people can get shit done that blacks can't, especially when it comes to insurance policies. And everybody hungry, just like Uncle uh, James Brown sing about, mind power. You know, it takes a person a lot, it takes a lot of mind power for a man to deal with starvation. When you start seeing you can't get what you need and this and that, it really be a need thing in America. You know, 
what would be a want in another country is a need in America. Need McDonald's, need Wendy's, need this, need that. And if you don't get it, not all of a sudden, but quite naturally because it's a consumer country. You know what I'm saying? So if people can't get what they need, oh, they get vicious. And they get to work it together in a unified manner to make you unalive, get the money, ain't never cared about you no motherfucking way. Whether they was white and racist and fuck all these niggas anyway and I can walk and they won't. Or whether it's they was envious of you because you was beautiful people. It ain't hard. It ain't hard at all. <sighs> he got rats, her husband, because I said something, I posted her. But I didn't go in depth like this, but I'm seeing something now. Because Twin Flames is going, they, this is what the fuck is going on. And family members be getting in it, and they just don't know. They be getting in God's business. My, my, um, my divine masculine's father, he came into my house like a whirlwind. And then he had me doing stuff because he was watching his family. And then he was saying, oh, they not going to, um, they not going to accept you. But he had sat with me to see how I live my life and saw that I was a good girl. Oh, so you a good girl and you know it. So what he did was he know, he know his family. So he had me go on people page with their last name. I don't be more know these people. He had me he had me keep asking this girl I went to school with about him. He had me keep going in my divine masculine. He got ten siblings, nine. He the ten. But he had me finding popes that could have been, I guess, his children or whatever, because I never met these people. And he would just have me say something crazy, just anything, because he wanted me to get away from it. He wanted me to not be involved, because he saw and was so wicked, and not in a bad way, but in a crazy, like, wow, like, miraculous way, is that my spiritual mother kept telling me, that's the thing, when they keep coming and you go to a tarot reader... My my spiritual mom kept telling me, no, it's too many witches. They don't, the family isn't going to accept you. They think you dare to steal a spot or something. It's not a good look, God, daughter. Keep it moving. So I did. But it kept returning. That's when they split my ear, doing all this shit to me. I'm going to listen to my spiritual mother. Yeah, I listened to his father, but I don't know his family. I just did what he told me to do. But he was trying to tell them, yeah, fuck her, fuck her kind of shit. So that he tried it all kind of way. Tell them this, tell them that, tell them they need to do this. He was telling me certain shit that they needed to do in their church and shit. I ain't never been there. I don't care. You see what I'm saying? But he didn't want me to be in the mix of whatever it is that he saw. He knew that they wouldn't be mature enough. To handle somebody like me. Or to accept somebody like me. Let's say that because I ain't got to be handled. I ain't no fucking grocery store bag. but Or a purse. But to be accepted by them. Basically. They was going to read it all wrong. Go religious. You know, feel like that they doing what he would want them to do. Blase, blase. Not dumb at all. A wise man. People don't be understanding. They... Ancestors be wise. They don't give them credit. Just like they don't give God credit for being God. <laughs> they put them in a box and put, you know, some tape on it. Like they about to go ship off a Christmas gift from Amazon. But anyway. I kept returning to her. Hey. This nigga ain't going nowhere. I know what you said. She said, okay, it's the same thing. Figure it out. And she told me I would have like a love affair or some shit with a certain sign and it didn't end up being that sign it didn't end up being that sign they may have blocked that because they were sending people my way so i may have had found somebody i may have found somebody or somebody would have found me but they put in my path a cusper a aries taurus but my spiritual mom don't she she don't miss she do one direction numbers so, when she said a Sag, I was like, looking for a Sag. Sag ain't showed up, but a Taurus Aries? Somebody put that person there. Where's the Sag at? Never met the Sag. You see what I'm saying? Which could have been a potential soulmate. That could have shut down this Twin Flame shit, period. For real. 
For real. But what's so wicked about it is the tourists that I was seeing for a little small minute. Oh, y'all know. I don't care. I'll tell y'all all what's going on. So y'all don't feel stupid about what y'all doing. Because ain't nothing to feel stupid about. These motherfuckers play a lot of games. The Divine Masculine and all that's attached to him. My family don't get involved either way. They just be wanting to make sure I'm straight. They not. They. My mother didn't. Uh. Uh. Don't get in nobody business. You stay out of there. there. She could be in all three of me and my sisters. Even outside siblings, my father had. That's my siblings. She didn't play that. She could be in everybody business, but you ain't about to be crossing. You know, you and your sister business. You and your brother business. You talking this and that. She didn't play that shit. That's something her mother did. But it's all strategic though. It's not. Is not unaware, unconscious of what they're doing. Oh, no, they well aware of what they're doing. My grandmother was well aware when she was pitting her children against each other. She was well aware of what the fuck she was doing. My mother did the opposite. You know, you only talk to me. And don't, don't be in each other's business. I don't care who did. I couldn't go to her and say, nine times out of ten, we'll say call. Well, I say call her. And my sister say call her. You know, she may say some shit to my brother about him being a male, but we wouldn't know. He wouldn't cross. He ain't told us shit. You see, everybody ain't like that. But the more I went to my spiritual mother, the more she kept saying, no. They don't like you. Now they're doing some type of bird nest spells. I'm like, what? Why would they be doing that? Because I ain't doing shit. Then the next thing you know, ears split, mice running through my house. I mean, just dogged me. Just dogged me. I was just like, damn. Like, that's crazy. And I cut the cord on it. I don't give nobody my soul. I have never gave one single man like to take your soul. That's what they like to do through sex. That's what they, they love to do that shit. They would take a woman's soul in a fucking minute. That's why you see a lot of these women walking around here and don't know they hear from a hole in the wall. I ain't never gave one single solitary man my soul since the day I was born. You're not getting shit. I don't tie my soul up to nobody. I cut cords. You, you look like you're in a tangled mess. Let me cut that for you. And you go that way, and I'm going to come this way. But if you keep coming for my soul, I will take yours. And I'll treat it better than you had. And when you ready for it, I'll give it back. I done had women say, can you give me his soul? Because you took it. Okay, bitch, there you go. And I give it back to her. He shouldn't have been trying to get mine. All he asked for was light. I'm a light being. If I had his lighter, my soul would be considered the gas in this lighter. You understand? My body would be this outside piece that you see out here. The light that he need right here. You got the light, nigga. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Okay, it's over. I'm taking this gas and this whole lighter with me. Because that's me. My body and my soul. Okay? You can play the little mind head games they like to play. That's fine. But that's as far as it's going, bruh. And eventually that's going to wear off. So what else you going to do? Kind of shit. These hoes be wide open all over the place, man. Then you got to deal with this nasty ass shit, man. You be like, man, shit, bitch. I know you lying. I know you lying. I ain't, I ain't met a motherfucker that can do that yet. Touch my soul and tie my soul up with his. I ain't met a motherfucker that can do that yet. <laughs> I'm 45 years old. And I'm going to say it again. I ain't met a motherfucker that can do that yet. So you can keep going to tarot readers, keep listening, and they're gonna bring you, it's gonna draw you right back. And I already know us be we be feeling like this. For forget Auntie Billy for a minute. We be feeling like Uncle Mike. What the fuck you want? Cause that's how they pull up on you. For real. They family won't know nothing. They listening to you say it or you talking about it or whatever. They like you a liar. Bitch, your mama a liar. I'm not no liar. Your brother a liar. I'm not no fucking liar. Your sister a liar. I'm not no fucking liar. You just don't want to accept spiritual things, but you act like you're so spiritual. But you only got a form of godliness because you deny the power of God. So don't come talking to me.
you got to go through all these rebirths. And you already been born again. I ain't Nicodemus. I ain't asking a question. Should I go into my mother's womb a second time? Why the fuck I got to keep being reborn over and over again? All right, all right. All that transmute, all that shit. And you already cool? So you just come to basically clean up his shit. From the scavengers that he goes and picks up from the bottom of the fucking ocean. I don't eat shrimp. I don't. And I don't care who do, but I don't. Babies. Just keep on. Oh, what they going to do with the 40 and 50 year olds? Oh, but they coming for them. They looking for a daddy. A burden to them now because they done inherited a whole bunch of wet pussy daughters by default kind of shit. Like, okay, don't you have daughters already, nigga? <laughs> now you got more. You motherfuckers supposed to be grandfathers and they sitting up here. If you're going to be a, a father, at least be a, with one woman at your age. I don't give a damn. I just seen a 47 year old that had her baby. Loud and clear because they attack me anyway, so I don't give a fuck. Bitch, I bombs first. That Gabriel Union, Dwayne Wade, he had a baby on her. Of course, they was twin flames. What did he do, y'all? He ran away from Gabriel because he didn't want to stand up to the fact that he had a baby on her, so he was spinning her. She he said she kept coming to the games, kept coming to every game, sitting in the crowd, throwing his whole game off. But that's the power of a twin flame. She didn't have to act the ass or nothing. She just showed up at the game where she would usually, like I am and like some of y'all are, y'all just leave it alone. Y'all ain't going nowhere there where they at. Y'all don't give a fuck. She stood and was like, fuck this. I'm about to go. I'm about to look crazy. I don't care. Kind of shit. The bitch that he had the baby with, the gold digging bitch that got a baby by Damon Wayans Jr., Two kids by Damon Wayans Jr. She looked crazy than a motherfucker. And the baby she had, he crazy too. I wouldn't give a fuck if he's eight or nine years old. He's crazy. He would destroy their life. And yes, the son came out of his dick. And yes, the little boy is cute as a button. But baby, bad seed. Bring them if you want to and watch their life go down like a little warlock. She trained them that way. He in her womb. And she trained them that way. It's a difference. You can make, it's, it's, it's not easy for a man to reconstruct a child that's been sitting in a mother's womb for 10 months. That's damn near a year. You ain't with her all the time. You ain't around her all the time. She with that baby day and night. Try to see if you can reverse it. And see what happened to your life. Sometimes you just got to cut the check and go the fuck it on. Because that's all they wanted anyway. And that's all she be looking like anyway. Just like Auntie Billy. Just send me my money. Because that's what they was there for to begin with. You know what this is. Can the bitches? Oh, crr. it ain't a matter of character and integrity. He's a deadbeat. How the fuck he a deadbeat making the amount of money he make? Get this little check and get the fuck on. Arrivederci, baby. And guess what? Because of the grimy shit she did, that child now becomes her headache. Because the child never wanted to be here in the first fucking place. It's usually some fertility spell, okie dokie, smoky bullshit. Ain't no damn love child. I had a love child with nothing being done. And that was because he was mine and he showed me himself and he showed me he wanted to come to earth. How he was going to get here, I don't know. But he got here, didn't he? That's a love child. 
Let's get this love child fertility spell child. Let's get this let's get it understood what is what. Because you can have a love child and do fertility spells because somebody is trying to close your womb to your divine mate so that you can't have a child. That is a love child in that case. That's what they was doing to Gabriel Union, shutting her womb down. She had to use a surrogate. She can have children. It's all fucking with her head kind of shit. They don't want you to say that, but they want to be the one to do it. Now you re raising a warlock or whatever come with that shit. You was in it for the money anyway. You feel me? Moving on. Isolation. You see that? You think you're moving on and you go right back to divine masculine binding y'all up. Because that's who's doing it. In the name of love kind of shit. For real. I'm so wait on me to get these burdens off of me. Our vision. What we talked about. What you want to do is still in play. They want you to just heal and be in pajamas all motherfucking day. But when you go there in that 5D swanky club. I cannot wait to find this picture to show y'all what the fuck I see 5D as. And it is. I, I can't even enjoy a day off, time off, time down, or whatever. They blocking some of y'all money because they want to be the man in the relationship. And they don't want you to have to do it. And it's frustrating for some women. It's a burden to some women that they can go on and live their life like they've been living their life. Be, keep doing what they've been doing without the help of a man, without the agency of a man. Used to getting it out of the mud. Used to moving on. Used to being in isolation. Used to not having no friends. Used to pouring out their love to everybody else, but nobody pouring out their love to them. It's the same old song. I don't know if I ever in my life have female friends. Because the female species right now is repulsive to me. For real. Some of this shit women doing for men is crazy. It just show me that they never loved God. Like they say that they did. So I I don't know about that free free female friend shit. I'd probably be surrounded by around younger dudes or something. My God children. You know, little God children from the ages of three or four to about twenty five year olds. That's where my life would be consumed with. On top of my own children and my husband, if if that's what God ordains. But women my age, under my age, no, no. Oh, hell no. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Not interested at all. Too messy. Too much shit going on. You know? Mm -mm. All around the world, the same motherfucking song. For real. Some with that 521 loss. Yeah, they lost opportunity. And some of y'all miscarried. And, and, and snapped right back. And gave zero fucks. And kept pushing. And the Divine Masculine and the Sally looking that way. While he's Sally doing all slick, slimy shit. Shut the vibe mask and let's say y'all are the friend they need. They must be seeing people do stuff. If they see people do stuff, that's what they're going to say. You don't need no friends. With what I'm seeing out here, you don't need no friends. Oh, the birthday of Jeffrey Dahmer. Oh, I knew it. Oh, somebody about to get taken ass. Fuck it. There's about to be a whole lot of killing. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Jeffrey Dahmer. Look at the little baby. The dark being. You hear me? I see a Jeffrey Dahmer birthday. Who the fuck want to be bothered with that? He's asking the question. Egotistic. These are the bitches that deal with do these spells, these fertility spells. Because everybody coming up pregnant all of a sudden. And then the hoes got the older bitches that taught them this shit to uh to overturn abortion. 
and make the Republican Party like they was with it. So these hoes can get these babies and do these men how they do. You see that? You gotta be real careful nowadays. And if you a twin flame, and you know as a man, wake up. As a man, if you know that that's your girl, act like it. It ain't foreign for where, where people fuck up at is they give all of they they give all the stupidity to youth instead of giving they all to their youth so they can chill when they get older. They do all the dumb shit when they're young, waste out their energy, don't give themselves to God young. You're supposed to give yourself to God young. Not old. Now you old looking for clues. Hello, somebody. If that's your girl, that's your girl. I don't give a fuck about no age. Don't come talking to me about no age. Don't come talking to me about no age. If that's your girl, that's your girl. You got some people, it's, it's, you got to be real careful. Because if they get you early, if they get you around 14, 15, 16, that be, them be karmics that they mother sick them on a man. And it, it starts from the age of 9 to about 16. Where they use their daughters to get men that they see is going to have a bright future because they be seers and shit. And they get a woman to trap his ass. Or it be a warlock motherfucker. In my case, in my case, I feel like my divine masculine's first wife trapped him at a young age via her mother's advice. And I feel like my kidnapper mother knew that he was a warlock because she told me that he was in a roundabout way but basically he was a warlock she said hell on two feet that's a warlock but once he get done with you you gonna be all right and she don't play virgo okay so she knew he was but she wouldn't dare tell him he was that's how it is in a black community. I don't know how it is in a white community. I know white people more talk about it on a generational side, on a, you know, watch out for this one. They do wicked shit to them too. Oh, yeah, dirty, 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 dirty. But I say I deal with the black hand side because I don't know that side, but I do know they get dirty based off talking to Italians, based off talking to uh, myself, kind of shit, my ancestors. They, they tell me certain shit. But that's not my lane. I stay in my lane. With black people, the mothers tell them, the, the girls, but the boy moms don't tell them that they're a warlock. They just operate in it. Just imagine that. If you told him he was, if he was a boy, oh, he's going to use that to his advantage like a motherfucker. It'd be worse than they already be. On some Jeffrey Dahmer shit. People can get redeemed if they do the work. Jeffrey Dahmer done the work. So he in my birthday book. Who got a problem with that? Okay, he'll be to see you. Kind of shit. It ain't hard. You're not about to keep me in a position that I already was redeemed from. Oh, so Jesus can forgive you for all the freaky shit you do, but not Jeffrey Dahmer? That's not how redemption works. This is not how the blood of Jesus works. It covers. This is what motherfuckers want, but don't want nobody else to have it. Like, please shut the fuck up. You can't move on from these motherfuckers. That's why tarot readers keep on telling people, move on, this and that. They saying the right thing, but not really. They saying the safe thing. And they saying what they feel for real. Because I've said it. But it comes a time when you see, okay, this, this is a tug of war. And the more I let go of the rope, the more somebody wants me to hold on to the rope. The more I let go of the rope, the more I let go of the rope, 
somebody wants me to hold on to the rope. The more I let go of the rope, because I know how to get out here and get it and be by myself and don't be bothered, the more somebody wants me to hold on to the rope. Why they get out of shit, making breaks from shit because these hoes, and they're getting younger and more aggressive. They don't, Generation X don't understand the 20-year-olds just like the 20-year-olds don't understand Generation X. A gap been formed. So if a gap being formed, you looking for your daddy in the divine masculine who belongs to someone else. He already had that class coming out of some shit with a bitch that trapped him back in high school kind of shit. Hello, somebody. All this bullshit don't got nothing to do with love. You got love out here one time. Everything else is moving on, burden. Foresight, independent wealth, isolation, vision, outpouring, marriage, and loss. Hella foresight, hella vision. They want y'all to be in a state of tranquility and peace, but they don't understand what you're experiencing. And maybe they want you to express it and you don't like I do. But they want to know so they can gauge what is going on. This is what's happening. Because they're looking at people that read tarot. And they're banking on people that read tarot to tell them what's going on with their person, basically. Even if the tarot reader is their person. What they saying, you know. I've been listening to two... Well, one tarot reader I've been listening to for about, since I started my Twin Flame journey, I can say about four years. And I sent him to her. I sent him immediately before we was infiltrated, sent him the tarot reader I listened to the most. I'm not even subscribed to her no more because I don't want her to pick up nothing that I got going on. Because the, every time I go in the four years, sometimes he doing good, sometimes he a dumb bitch. Uh, somebody I need to leave completely alone. Sometimes he an angel. Sometimes he grieving some type of loss or something happened. Sometimes he's married. You see what I'm saying? And it's be all on one person. It be real. Because they be going through the different vestitudes of life with these hoes, these witches. But that's one thing I did do. I tried to hit my client on, but she didn't want to do it. I don't know why. Maybe she was looking out for my safety. But I made sure I sent him this one particular tarot reader so that we can kind of, if we need to hit it and quit it, she'll say something that, you know. Well, we'll know. Okay, you stupid again. I'm not dealing with this shit. I'm going on, moving on with my life. And I do. But somehow... Ain't nobody about to call me crazy. Don't call me crazy. Don't do that. Because motherfuckers be ready to go. And they be like this, stringing you right up. Stringing you right the fuck up. For real. Why bitches celebrating getting him. Like he's some type of meat. And he a grown ass man. These young bitches is stupid. And it's almost like they don't want to clean their clock. And my, my advice is, if you don't want to clean a young bitch clock that's coming for you, and she's under your age, and she could be your daughter possibly, especially if she like 33 and you're 45 or some shit, that could still be your daughter. Because motherfucker could be getting pregnant real early in the ghetto. If that's the case, get a young nigga to get with her. And get her away from you. How hard is it? All they want is dick. They don't want you. They don't know what to do with you. They don't know what you like. They don't know shit. Because you're sitting up here looking like this about Divine Feminine. And I said this a water sign reading. I shouldn't have to keep repeating that. It's true. Be grown ass men. Even with the younger generation, they be grown ass men. They don't want to deal with that silly ass shit. They run these motherfuckers off like crazy. And sometimes the bitches is trapping the men in their 40s and 50s. Don't want to deal with the young, but that's what you got to deal with, bitch. These motherfuckers like this, they staying around fighting. They not going to look for no older woman. Not when they born in goddamn 1990s, 2000 and beyond. 
They stand and working it out like I like me and my generation had too. Some people didn't, but it wasn't foreign for somebody that was born in the seventies to go be with somebody that was born in the fifties or the sixties. That shit wasn't nothing, and that still was understanding like a motherfucker. It wasn't even too far fetched for a seventies to go with an eighties baby. But when you start getting to that nineties, that other shit, I just don't think that's a good look. I don't. Because somebody's looking for a father at that point. Yeah, man. Bread crumbing. Rest haven for hoes, honey. That's what Divine Maskins is out here doing. And they bummed out. They burnt out. They burnt out, especially if they was in the street life or anything like that. They burnt the fuck out. Burnt out. Burnt out. And they know y'all know how to get it. Y'all gonna get it, but goddamn, you know? But then they don't want you to, too. They want you to chill. Don't be around. Nobody don't talk to nobody. Blah, blah, blah. But they seeing what's going on out here. And some of y'all just kind of green. Y'all don't know. Four twelve. Enigmatic interviewer. What? Somebody want to get to know y'all depths. Watch these interviews. You know, mm -mm. Them shoving a microphone in your face like a snake on the end of that cord, don't it? Watch these interviews, honey. People that are so interested and opinionated and elusive. Meaning they, they won't tell you nothing about themselves, but they want to hear all about you. Be careful with that shit. For real. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it. I guess that's what come along with recognition. So if that if y'all are being recognized and the divine masculine can't subdue you like mine has subdued me and shut down everything that I ever stood for then just be careful with interviews and stuff like that. People that want to know about you, know your story, want you to talk. And they'll breadcrumb you, pay you a few pennies, but they don't give a fuck about you. They really don't. Some of y'all ain't saying shit. I don't blame you. Mm-hmm. Also, no. Not if you don't care about me, no. Because the interviews is everywhere. On Instagram, they asking everybody's opinion about relationships and this and that. Not that they want to learn. Somebody just had on that Threads. It's a new little thing called Threads. Articulated it so beautifully. He, somebody said, I think it was a man. He said, uh, people aren't moving how they're talking. Something like that. Y'all talking good, but y'all moving the same way. What's wrong with that? That's a great observation. You know? Because you'll be hearing somebody talk some good shit on Instagram. Ooh, he is articulate. He this and that. Next thing you know, you be saying, ooh, I like this. This is it. Da, 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 da. Uh uh, honey. That motherfucker be busted to the ground. Busted to the ground. Ain't walking nothing. They talking. Heard another nigga say it. Told them that. They took it, but they didn't apply it. So they just rattling off. Just thinking, yeah, this is terrible, honey. Terrible, 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 terrible as fuck when I tell you terrible. Ooh, wish. Trying to get away from poverty. These young girls, that's why they trapping these men. Yeah, man, trying to get away from poverty. Damn, where they leaving you at, though? Oh, you can get it. Fuck you. I'm trying to tell you. I ain't telling y'all no lies. I'm about to get up out of here. <laughs> King of Cups. That ain't nothing but Joe Biden energy on this channel. You don't like it, you don't have to come here. Poverty. Poverty. Want to move away from poverty. To get your man. But meanwhile, just leave you as the independent black woman, or whatever woman. Independent. We're independent. You can't get no man. Because I know how to suck his dick better than you can. They know how to suck his dick better than you can. That's where they man at. Y'all know damn where y'all man ain't nowhere near that. And neither is the divine masculine. Come on. 
<laughs> Come on, bro. He like this. He just want to return to y'all. Returning to one's roots. That's my baby. That's my baby. But, honey, you simple life, you know? Not all that extra shit. They so tired, y'all. It's ridiculous. They so tired. And these hoes keep on and keep on and keep on. And they trying to keep their cool because they know they young and they silly. And they don't want to do that to their father or mother kind of shit. But fuck all that. I have no understanding. It'd be a whole mask off, fucking mask off situation for me. I'm going to get y'all some animal oracles and then we're going to get up out of here. Yeah, it'll definitely be a fuck. fuck, 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 fuck. You don't fuck about that motherfucker. Don't give a fuck about me. Maybe the mother and father should have did a better job. I understand it takes a village, but that's that's right, ain't it? Are you going to be the only one? <laughs> no. You abusing yourself. That's self-negation. That's feeling the need to be needed. It's a whole bunch of shit. That ain't your obligation. It's just something they need to take up with their God. You ain't God. I gotta look up her thing, Butterfly. Some Butterfly on Facebook. I don't know if she's on Instagram. I'm gonna look and see if she's on Instagram too. May her husband rest in power because he's going to be kicking ass. He about to be kicking ass. In his name and her name. Sometimes the ancestors want you to get out of wherever they are so they could destroy them. And they don't want you to get hit. Check, please. This shit strikes cowboys and Indians, y'all. It really is. If y'all are nauseated, I'm trying to do something to take that away. Because they just passing on nausea, little nasties. Some divine masculines never had a woman besides y'all. Just like some of y'all never experienced a man besides divine masculine. It's just like parents' hard work gets unused, you know? And then you just turn some money and career and this and that, but you're really never ever able to execute, you know, what you've been taught, you know? make life better for generations after you once you're dead and gone this has supposed to go the motherfuckers be all fucked up cat spirit i'm not surprised with the cat candle going claim your independence koi fish spirit there's always enough karmics yeah claim your independence there's always enough dick miss i can suck it better Electric eel spirit, bring your ideas to life. Stop doppelgangering people. When you got all kind of shit laid up in your chest, you got to be one stupid motherfucker. Learn from the past, elephant spirit. I'm going to do two more and then I'm going to get up out of here. I do that chunk and then I'm gonna get up in here because <laughs> the chunk just flow out. Crow spirit, co create with spirit, panther spirit, reclaim your power. It's a big cat energy, reclaim your power. Snake spirit, time to heal. Fox spirit, think on your feet. Make sure you do that. Think on your feet. Don't let nothing get past you. Don't let nothing get past you. Pick it up. And know who your enemies are. 
just like her knowing that that lady look was funny in the bank, that's an enemy. And then when she came out, she stayed with her own Leo loving self, wearing her heart on her sleeve, telling the white woman she loved her. No, you don't. That bitch is a part of a COVID and it has something to do with your husband shooting you and being killed. Be loyal to what you love. That's first you got to know what you love and who you love and who's worth it and who ain't. And who a slimy fox. Scarab beetle spirit. Magic works through you. Man, it was a black beetle on my thing yesterday. And let's see. I was talking, cussing my divine masculine out. And I was like, why you got to be here? I'm about to try to eat my food. It was like hiding up under here. At first, I thought it was a black widow. So I put it in a search engine, black beetle. I said, oh, it's a black beetle. And then it was just looking so nasty. And, yeah, the symbolism, the metaphysics behind it was cool. But I just wasn't in a mood and I was already feeling nauseated and everything. So I was just cussing at the beetle like it was him. Like, stupid motherfucker. La, 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 la. I don't want to kill you. I don't want to touch that big black thing on the back of you. I don't even feel no bumps right now because if I feel bumps, I fuck around and throw up. Like hitting a bump if I touch that bump on this beetle. I, you know how sometimes you get to hear the animal? You, if you don't do a thick ass thing of tissue, you kind of hear it crunch kind of shit. You feel it kind of shit. I'm sensory. Too much Virgo, honey. Let me tell you something. Not in the mood that day to rise above it. So I finally picked it up. I had sprayed it. I sprayed it with, um, I said, now you're making me kill a lost creation because you brought this beetle in here. And ain't no beetle supposed to be in here. Where did beetle even come from? Black beetles in the city and shit. So I had gotten some um, Lysol. Sprayed the Lysol on there. It's still going. I said, what the fuck? So then I sprayed it with some Windex. It's still going. I said, fuck you. I don't have to pay no attention to that. So then I just got so frustrated. I picked it up, carved it, like this, <laughs> threw it hard in the trash behind me, behind me over here. And then I'm like, it's a fucking shame. I gotta do that. I end up touching it anyway. I gotta kill this damn thing. Look at the garbage. That motherfucker still going. Get out the tissue. Mind you, I boil it up like this, y'all. Done dizzle. Oh no. I'm talking about five seconds later. It's back crawling. It did get a little shake off. Shook the shit off its little antlers. Like, that ain't shit. <laughs> Shook the Windex off the little... <laughs> I said, oh. So this, this, this is what people need to understand about the twin flame journey. And I started to record it, but I said, no, I want this moment for me, myself, and I to know that I'm not fucking crazy. This back and forth with this man is ridiculous. People can say what the fuck they want to, but it's something going on deeper than motherfucking 3D reality. So I'm highly spiritual. So I took the I took the uh Windex y'all that was using it like a gun. Pop it down, <laughs> pop it down in the garbage. Die motherfucker. Die motherfucker. <laughs> y'all, it did not steal. No. And then guess what? I look I'm laughing, crack it up, then go to look back in there. Why it just vanished. Poof. Magic works through you. Just fucking vanish. It's like, what the fuck? I'm like, man, it's just stupid as fuck. Truth transcends illusions. Dragonfly. What's up, dragonflyers? If you're feeling the vibe, please like, share, and subscribe. You don't have to really subscribe. You can just like and share if you want to. Love and light. And I don't remember to put her name in the description box so y'all can go look at this lady. It's really a twin flame journey. It show you how dirty they do twin flames. For real. It's nothing pretty about it. It's really not. If you get a reading where it sometimes is so creepy... That readers will say a new man is coming into your life, a new mate, a new, and it will be the divine masculine presenting himself as a new creature, like Nicodemus asking, "Do I need to enter my mother's womb a second time or my woman's womb?" Weird, you know. Just don't know how to. Just trying to figure out every way. This is where me and men part because I don't have a Y chromosome. 
What they thinking? I don't know. It's deep as fuck, though. And I ain't trying to go there because I don't have that. You know? I have to tap into divine masculine energy. They can tap into divine feminine energy and they don't because they have the X chromosome. Hello, somebody. They can be you and they themselves. God extracted woman out of man, which would be a double X chromosome. You don't have XY chromosome. Only men have that. So they can think like you and they can think like themselves and you don't know how they think because you don't have that chromosome. So I try not to go there. I just try to tap into whatever was left in my DNA by the men that I allowed to lay with me. If they was good men and they had good qualities, then I would let it sit in my DNA, okay, and take that strength and use it to my advantage. What's wrong with that? Hello, somebody. But there ain't no man, and I don't even know how they think. It's just like, it makes you laugh because it's so stupid, you know? They know us, but women, for some reason, think that they don't. And I be saying, y'all need to be quiet because they can really break your soul. They really can, you know? So I'm going to take all the years I got and say, get my bag, stupid motherfucker. What's wrong with that? He'll laugh and think I'm a joke anyway because that's what masculine alpha men do. And then sometimes they'll say, your man is bisexual. This man is bisexual. He never told you. When witchcraft is involved, honey, don't even worry about it. Don't, it's a blood. Look, don't make it a murder scene. It's a murder scene all the time. time. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know nothing. That's a lie. That's a lie. And I, I, if I want to believe it, I will. But if I don't, I'm not, okay? So why you think you're about to bring me this filth? I don't care, bitch. That's what happens with chaos, magic, and extortion and all that other shit. Now, you ain't about to do that, okay? You got to get real grown out here in these streets. You hear me? Love and light, y'all.